Hey, what is up, guys? Gitarok here. Welcome back to another Final Fantasy Brave X vs War of the Visions video. All right, so today we had we just have the update. Oof, I was a bit salty because the update was literally four hours before the reset, right? So I missed out on some of my dailies. Ah, oof, that's gonna come biting me back. Quite a number of things that I actually missed out. Hopefully. I did I know the maintenance was going on, but I didn't know that like, it would happen like a couple of hours before the reset time, which was unfortunate when I woke up, it was already on maintenance. But regardless, we have new uh the it's called the Admirable Prince event. So a couple of new units. We have MR Nasha, which is a paladin, UR Yerma Viking, and then we have UR Roaring Thunderclap Ramo. It's an Asper included upon first acquisition. Alright, so we're going to talk about all the events that we will have. Okay, uh, the units here, they are okay, except for the UR. From what I've heard, she's pretty good. She can deal a ton of damage, right? But I'm guessing that most players who played this game, you are either saving for the next banner, uh, the next few uh, events, which is the Final Fantasy Tactics one. From what I've heard, that one has the best units. Or you might be worn out from the recent Frederica, which was just released a couple of days ago. I mean, like, the event gap is so short. Like, holy. Okay, so Admirable Prince. Uh, what you'll be getting. Okay, so Yerma, Viking, that's the UR. Nasha is the Paladin, which is the MR. So, complete milestones, obtain rewards, win Ice Dark Awakening Prisms, as well as Rainbow and Azure Vision Spears. Okay. So unlock high difficulty EX quest when you clear episode 10 Prince Mod. Okay, so you have the EX quest and you'll be getting weapons. Wow, Golden Axe, Golden Blade, Great Sword. Alright, very good, very good. Okay, let's go. We're going to check out all the events that we have currently. Okay, so now if you go right here in the event section. Alright, we're just going to jump into the event straight. I'm going to show you guys what it's all about. We still have the one million dollar events. Uh, make sure you do this. You only get to do it once and choose wisely. I've already done a guide on which one ideally players should choose. Most of the time, you want to pick based on the element that you have. All right. So obviously, the Final Fantasy fourteen Shadowbringers event still here. Admirable Prince. All right, thirteen days, and you have this JP reward quest as well. This is very good. Okay, so you can do this once a day. First clear it will give you fifty visuals. Of course, you will be getting. 500 JP for each of your units that comes in here. 500 JP, it sounds like a lot, but it's actually not. If you're starting out, 500 JP is a lot. But once you reach towards the limit break 4 or 5, and then you have unlock, uh, and then you have awakened awaken all your units, when you're trying to learn the more, the stronger skills, those takes a ton of JP. Alright, so make sure to do this every day. I will do my fair share later on. Okay, so make sure you do your required Admirable Prince right here in the events tab inside the Milestone Challenges. Do the required one, uh, how many times that is required, make sure you do it. So they give a ton of rewards, a ton of, oh my god, you get this. Rainbow Vision Sphere, definitely appreciated. And then for the EX stage as well, definitely good. For the multi EX stage for the weapons one, yep, make sure to do it all. Get as many of those items that you can. And of course, right now, we have free summons. Every single player out there, regardless of you just started or whether you have been playing since day one, you will have the access to do 10 free pulls. So let me find it. Where is it? It's right here, somewhere there. Free 10x summon. All right, so make sure you guys do this. So let me get this first, the free, uh, the free daily summon. Free daily normal summon. I'm gonna do that, skip. Kablam, give me all. Oh, oh, we got a lot of uh, spheres, prisms. Very good, very good. Okay, let's talk about the new units. We're going to go to stats. All right, so first up, Yerna. Okay, HP 1.9k, 279 attack. Pretty good. She has pretty decent move. All right, not the best, but Trustmaster is Herculean, Herculean Waste Cloth. It gives defense SPR. It's more for towards the defensive side. Alright. And what is she all about? She is a Viking as the main class. Which is unique. I think she's the first Viking main uh, unit that we have currently. Knight as a secondary. And third job is a Thief. Uh, very cool. It all focuses on physical. From what I've heard, 
she's one of the best win units uh, for UR. But again, like I mentioned, not sure if many players are going to pull for her. For me personally, most likely I'm just going to skip her. But what is she all about? Alright, so this is her ex. She's a Viking. Eh? She looks a bit, <laughs> you know, a bit slim, very thin, but nonetheless, alright, that looks really cool. And of course, we have the MR. Okay, so this is Nasha. So she's definitely, uh, she's going to complete with Mont, right? Paladin. But she is a white mage, which is interesting. And third job would be a dragon. So definitely uh, an interesting one. Main class. She's going to be a pretty decent tanker if you don't have any good tanks. But everybody gets Mont Leonis for free. So why would you not build Mont? I mean, you can go for both for sure. But I doubt... You want to waste your, your limited resources on her. So yeah, she is a very unique one, Paladin. So she can take hits, she can tank, and she will be able to heal as well because she's a white mage as a secondary class. But if you do not have any healers yet, um, maybe she's decent, but most of the players, as far as I know, already have at least one healer in their team. I do have Fina in my team personally. So maybe I'll just recruit her for fun if I do get her, but I don't think I'll be building her. All right, so let's... Have a look at the vision card, Ramo. Okay, so this is what? Yo, that is insane. That party ability is insane. 50% magic. Every single unit. Okay. Wow, this is a must have if you have Medina, I think. If you guys are running Medina, that magic plus 50%. Oh my god, that's so good. Everyone will be getting that. It's one of the best ones, I think. If Ramo is not the best, uh, one of the best vision card to obtain, then I don't know who is. Because that party ability is just insane. Granted that the bestowed effect is only lightning attack resistance plus 10, I, I wish it could have been more. I guess that's where they try to balance things out. Crazy, insane amount of stats in the party ability, but just subpar bestowed effects to the individual uh, unit. Judgment Bolt, very cool. Alright, interesting, interesting. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. I actually like the animation for Ramu. Wow. Alright, so... Oh, you get 30% at the beginning? Is that how it works? Okay, regardless. These pools, you now have a couple of new pools. Obviously, it's UR guaranteed, but this needs you to use the paid visuals, which I do not have, unfortunately. It's only for pay-to-win players. Hmm. So, free-to-play. Let's see what's our luck like. $2 million, one time only, free 10 times summon, MR plus unit of vision card guaranteed. Let's go. Man, I'm hype. Man, I'm hype. Let's go. Zero visuals. Make sure you guys log in for this free pull right here. Give me a, a give me a UR. Give me a UR. UR. Oh, yes! UR! My luck is finally here. Oh. It's a vision card though, holy. I do get a UR, but it's a vision card. Ah, oh, come on. I was hoping it would be a UR unit. I guess I'll take it, vision card. Flag of Z. Uh-huh, uh-huh, nice fear. And... Oh, come on! Real... Oh, why? Why is it Siren again? Now, that's, that's, that's disappointing, man. That's just so disappointing. I was hoping for Ramu or something. Siren again, birth of new life. Meh, already gotten that, that thing. Ah, uh, Mia. Damn, my luck in this game. It's just not there. All right, super rare Naya. White mage. I'll take it, I'll take it. The rest are all units. Uni. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, we got Mikkei. All right. Any Phoebe. Little Leela. All right. Gorilla Spellblade. Some SRs along the way. Hmm. SSR. Oh! Oh! Is that... Oh my god! It transformed into rainbow. <laughs> Ooh, man. Oh, this is exciting. I thought my luck was like shit. Now it's like god tier luck. Ugh. Oof. Oh my god! Show me strength that can move even the most hardened of hearts. Oh, Machiri? I actually got Machiri? Wow. I'll take it. I will take it. Holy. What, wait, what, what element is she? What element is she? If she's like dark or something, then I don't think I'll be building her. Oh, she's a holy? She's 
she's a holy type. Light elemental. Okay, okay. Um, she's competing with Tancred. I do not intend to build Tancred, so I guess I'll build her then. I will build her then. Let's go. <laughs> We're gonna build Max Cherry instead. Just farm her her shots every day. Holy now. Finally. Ah, finally we got a UR a unit. UR unit. Alright, something that's not that vision card, man. Holy, that was disappointing. I was hoping for something better. Come on, game. Alright, um, besides that, we also have the shops. Let me show it to you guys. Mm, we're gonna have a look. So what do we have? We're gonna exchange for Jill's. Speaking of matchery, yes. Let's buy that. Let's buy that. I just obtained her, so we're gonna buy that. We have Nasha, Zazan, not interested. Iron Mace. Do people even buy these equipments? I guess I do have enough gold, but man, these are just like so expensive. So expensive. X. Oh, I didn't know you can't. Okay, so I guess if you are building the the UR in this banner, you will need to buy this, the X one, because I don't think I've seen it before. Has it even appeared? Lightning, Earth. Uh, I have plenty of that, so I don't think I'll be needing much. Ice? Nope. I guess I'll just buy it extremely cheap anyways. Okay, so... Right, let's go to 1 million downloads. So this will end in a couple of hours. Make sure you guys purchase everything that you need right here for gold. I mean, the Vishors one can be worth it depending on whether or not you need them. It's a bit expensive. And then we have the 2 million downloads. Now this one will last for 13 days. Oh my god, daily free RNG, NRGG, RGG, I'll buy it. Oh, story support pack, what is this? Story skip ticket times 5, I'll buy it. 60, I will buy it, man. You get 50 visuals for completing a new stage. Story, more story, I'll buy it, I'll buy it. Wait, what? No, 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 I won't buy it, I won't buy it. Not, not pay to win. Buy. Alright, uh, okay, buy this, this one is awesome. I only have one, okay, buy that. This one, I have 200. Why you need to buy this? Buy this? Yeah, buy this. Boom. Rainbow Fragment. Yes, buy this. Boom. Rainbow Vision. Buy this as well. Boom. Alright, make sure to buy all of these. These are definitely worth it. Alright? If you guys think it's not worth it, you, you will regret later on. Alright? Maybe if you are just starting out, you won't need many of those. But once you try to awaken a bunch of units, you're going to use all those Rainbow Fragments of Thoughts and Vision Spheres. Uh, ideally, for Jills, make sure you guys do it every day and farm Jills during weekend because weekend, the dungeons will be open whole day. Okay, speaking of... Wow, there's just so many things. Oh, there's so many good ones with gold. I guess we'll buy all of these with gold. Earth. Yeah, we'll buy this. Holy, that gives so much. Wind. Earth. Ice. I don't even need any of those. Like dark. Let's just buy all of these. This gives a ton. Oh my god! Yo! They are so generous, man. Make sure you guys take advantage of their generosity by buying all of these. But is the 1000 ones worth it? Oh, okay, okay. You do get this one. These are... This is actually cheap. This is actually cheap. Make sure you guys buy it. Okay, in context, look at this. 1000. Let's, let's look at... Uh, oh, this rainbow training pack as well. Oh my god. Oh, paid! Oh, come on! Why is it locked behind free-to-play? Why is it locked behind pay-to-win accounts? Come on! Why can't I use my free visuals for that? Oh, come on! But this one is definitely worth it, alright? If it's... um, Look at this, you get the Fragment of Thought and Fire Awakening Prism for 1,000 visuals. Like, if you go right here, if you go right here, you can see this times 10 itself costs 1,000 visuals. So from the 2 million downloads, right here, you will get additional stuff. You get the prism and the fragment of thought, which you will need to awaken units, alright? You will need plenty of it if you're trying to awaken a bunch of units. Like, plenty of good stuff. Make sure you guys check the shops extremely often. Shadow links. Like, look at this. All these are 1,000. So generally, I don't recommend buying all of these. Did I buy this before? I, I might have bought this before. It's limited to 4. Uh, that was a mistake back then. Alright, so this is the new uh, shop. Okay, Yerma will be right here if you guys are intended to build her, alright? She's gonna be way cheaper, half the price of... Same price with Frederica, but half the price of Tancred. So, maybe she's a much better investment compared to Tancred. I don't know. Make sure you buy everything with gold. Those will definitely be worth it. And of course, I'm... Oh, come on, look at this. If I want all, it's like 12,000. 
Yo, it's so hard for free to play, man. I, I don't know if I want to spend everything right there. Flood works, pork. What is this all about? Ramada! Oh yeah, Ramada, my favorite. My favorite waifu, bye. I don't care if people say she's bad or she's trash. I'm just gonna build her anyway. She's my only water type right now. And we're gonna buy this later on. Alright guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think of the uh, new unit right now. She seems pretty cool. She actually seems pretty cool. And from what I've read, she's actually one of the stronger wind type units uh, that you will get for a while. And obviously, we're gonna have much better units down the road. So if you guys want to save uh, for the Final Fantasy T Tactics banner like I do, that will be the wise choice, I think. Uh, that's my advice to you guys at least. But if you guys uh, don't feel like you want to wait or you're not sure if the banner will come anytime soon, then go ahead and pull for Yerma. Also, let me know what do you guys pull for from your 2 million free pull. All right, I'm curious. Am I the, one that, the only one that got lucky? I did get two URs. One vision card, one matchery. Very cool, man. I'm really, really, really happy with that. Finally, luck is back. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. If you are new, subscribe and have a nice day. Goodbye.